Good morning, it's Rich. Getting ready to head out for my uh, day. God, what do you see when you look at me? I'm shooting a video as a selfie. I can see myself. Okay. I don't see anything extraordinary or special. I'm not a Hollywood type appearance. And it doesn't matter. I have no desire to be that. I have no desire to be rich other than my name and in the mercies and grace of God. I desire to help people. I made a video that said, essentially, God, thank you that I wasn't aborted. I was an unplanned pregnancy. I was the third of three unwanted pregnancies. Fortunately, none of us were aborted. We at least didn't get robbed of our opportunity to experience life. But unfortunately, if you have a parent that doesn't want children at all and gets stuck with three children, you don't get God's best, at least from that person. But you can give or be given God's best from him. Unfortunately for me, it's taken most of my life to finally understand or find out who I am in Christ. I wonder what the scoreboard is in heaven of the things I've done in my brokenness in life to help people or to hurt people. And I wonder now what side of the scoreboard gets the most tallies, the good or the evil. I don't know. But I hope and pray anybody that has gone through life unloved or feeling unloved understand that God created you on a purpose. It's kind of like he sends reinforcements from heaven to earth. People have certain personalities and characteristics and interests and desires, passions, abilities that are all like seeds inside of you waiting to be watered and nurtured and cared for to break through the outer tough surface of the seed that protects the precious life that's inside. And many seeds lie dormant people's whole lives because somebody isn't a gardener caring for them, watering and nurturing them. I hope and pray the words that I share. I'm not afraid of transparency, of talking about subjects of my failures, my mistakes, my sin. It's not, oh, oops, my bad. No, I don't see it that way. I see it God's way. But if I, in my new life in Christ, no longer imprisoned by the thoughts and ideas and tools that I use to try to protect myself, that closed me off from people and kept the good that was inside of me from coming out. Now that those bars and walls are gone, I pray as I surrender my life each and every day that God will live through me, that I can help people with their temporal needs as much as I can. The most important thing of all is helping people with their eternal needs, their emotional needs, their spiritual needs, to give them life and life abundantly. I pray everybody will overcome in Christ. Amen.